I miss your smile, me. What is there to smile about? So much. It's all in the perception, friend. And I am your friend. Not like that depressed piece of styrofoam you've been listening to so much. You're going to tell me to enjoy the way things are going? To enjoy the loss of friends? Of comfort? I'm sorry, but I fail to see the fun in being lonely all the time. And, you know, you're just a piece of styrofoam, too. Yes, but I'm your friend. Mm. You've lost focus on yourself. Lost too much strength to things you felt affection for. Paid too much attention to people you knew would disappoint. You know what they are. Don't expect anything but nasty irritation from anyone you didn't create. Maybe. Well, yes. This mood has grown pretentiously heavy. Maybe I should just try to enjoy things. Yes! Do exactly that! You're alive for now! Why waste your existence mimicking the dead? So enjoy! Yes. But, you know, I'll only go back to my previous mood. Eventually, it always happens like that. Well, hurry then! Play! While you can still appreciate it! Okay. I think I'll go out. That should be interesting. Yes. In fact, I'm smiling already. Hey, do you have a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Do you hear that? Pussies don't smoke. I was just gonna pass this place by in favor of the dance club up the street. I'll do the club tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen! I am presently unsure as to how to separate those of you who have fed my growing distaste for mankind from those who, thus far, have not. However, it is with far more certainty that I know such a problem will not be factored into what I will share with all of you here tonight. You tried to trick me once! You thought I was rude to you, so you told your boyfriend to beat me up! Your lazy eye disturbs me! You bitch about equal treatment as a human being, but you and your friends laugh at me for the way I look! I hate your tie! You reacted to verbal abuse by degenerating into a submissive dork! We're trying to bring back bell bottoms! Pull your nose, you pig! Smiles, everybody! Smiles! Um, could somebody give me some toilet paper? You should have checked before you went! <sighs> Look! He's stopping! Maybe he's realizing the horrors he's just committed! No, no, the CD's kipping. Wait. Wait, okay, there it goes. You think you're cool because you work at a cafe? You have cooties! <laughs> no, I just kid. And so, Weirtons, it is with this that I leave you. You are spared so that you can think of what it really is to live in a world that engenders a pain for which there is no comfort. Here is your product. You have the rest of your lives to think of this. And I suggest you think quickly, for a long life is never a guarantee. You could never comprehend what it is to be, wobbly-headed Bob. How strange. I seem to be happy. Yes, there is a genuine contentment residing in my freakishly evolved head. Freedom. Freedom to enjoy what is to be enjoyed. The advent of a whole new outlook. The quiet acceptance of a flawed reality. I must catch up on so much. Oh, yes. Um, Mr. Bob? Is that really you? You sound so weird and you're smiling. Are you sick? Hello. No, I'm feeling better, but not superior better. Just happy and glad to have your company. Want to go roll down the hill? No longer do I feel isolated in speciality, for we all possess a unique beauty. I know this now, but I can't explain how this happened. Well... It must have been this beautiful sunset. Why, I know every time I see it, it makes it easy for me to think about all the good things in life. Like undying friendship, hope for world peace, the potential of children, and yes, true love. My god, you're stupid. Mommy! Mommy? Hello, little boy. You look lost. 
Are you lost? Um, my mom. I can't find my mom. And this place is scary. Everyone has bags. What's in those bags? Well, calm down, kid. I'll help you. I know where your mom is. Yeah, I know where she is. Um, I don't... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers or... Oh, sure you can, kid. Not everyone's a bad person. Come on, I'll take you to your mom. I think she's back here. Yeah, she's back here. Hmm. She'll be along in a little while. She told me she'd be here. Yeah, we'll just wait. Hmm. Well, since I helped you, don't you want to do something nice for me? Huh, kid? Something while we wait for your mom? Just close your eyes and stay quiet, okay? Okay, little boy? Todd. What? I didn't want to know your name! Why did you have to tell me your name? Todd? I like Squee better. Ah, uh, aren't Miles revolting places? I came here to do some expressing on that point when I saw you and your mom. You know, Squee, not to offend, but it seems your parents aren't exactly adept at the whole caring thing. And it's your parents who should be teaching you these things. But... Well, I just don't want you to think that this piece of shit is anything other than a pathetic human defect. Nothing more. Not a monster. Not a boogeyman. Nothing but another reason to feel better about yourself. Understand that it's just a person, not worth devoting any nightmares to. Absorb, and I will prove it. You flaw. At least I'm under the delusion of doing something productive. <laughs> See? Bones and tissue, tubes and fat. All sustained by blood. Nothing more than a poorly tended machine. And look! It has a brain! Fueled by the blood that races heavily in times of grotesquely heightened desires and vices. You can see the matter and feel the substance. But eyes and hands are useless for sensing the rotten filth of ideas that drip from these things. Two species under one name. Human, separated only by the workings of their minds. This one is human only in appearance. A clever disguise for a simple animal. The real humans are harder to find. Sometimes it's easy to feel like you're suffocating in a world where the rotten ones are all you'll know. But don't ever lose your clarity. Never forget that these things exist in all forms, in all places, in all colors. Recognize this and know that you are better! There is nothing wrong with feeling above these sacks which are so obviously fucked up! Revel in the superiority of your perception! Parents, don't get upset. It's a fake brain. A gelatin mixture was poured into a brain-shaped mold. We then filled it with the blood of a homeless man. No one will miss it. Mm, of course, these are my opinions. Likely to be just as flawed as anyone else's. Um... Really, I guess you should assume everyone's speaking out of some external influence. Believe in whatever makes sense to you. Oh, I guess all this excess was sort of pointless then, wasn't it? Um, well, I better get going. It's Tuesday. And you know what that means? UFOs! RUN! Ah! Huh, and this is the part that really gets me. <laughs> okay, so I have her strapped in just like this, and she's crying, doing this great let's be rational routine. I waited until she was at her most frantic and, <laughs> and I started the motor, but the strap around her head was too tight. The straps were only supposed to cut off blood circulation, but, <laughs> but but it was so tight it just clamped hard around her skull. You can hear it cracking like old wood. And she's screaming and she starts cursing me and tells me she won't give me the satisfaction of hearing her supper. And, <laughs> and just as she goes quiet, trying to be stoic, her eyes shoot out of her head and she just screams! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's wrong? You don't think that's funny? Meanwhile, high above the earth. Ah, oh, we are pleased to have you back, Mr. Hummel. You have been out for nearly an hour. Yes, we are about to induce consciousness by other means. What is this? What's going on? Where am I? Who? Where are you? You are off of your planet. We are scientists, and you are required. Required? For what? What are you going to do to me? Please, Mr. Hummel, we do not wish to cause you any distress. As we have said, we are scientists, and we are studying human sexual behavior. For this, you are required. Not you specifically, but a male of the species. But why? I thought you guys have been coming here for a long time now. All those UFOs abducting people. Shouldn't you know about these things by now? Those must have been some other aliens. 
Yes, we are new here, and must compile this basic information for future study. Don't you just spy through people's windows or something? I mean, it wouldn't be hard to catch them at it. They do it all the time. Oh, no, no. We need to monitor it in a controlled environment. We have special sensory equipment here to better gather data. And we know you will cooperate. By your uniform, we knew you were a part of your military. Trained to be prepared and to follow instructions. I'm a manager at Kmart. They make me wear this. I think you guys have gotten some bad information. You accuse us of incompetence. We are a superior race. We make no mistakes. Do not anger us or we shall remove all but one of your hearts. Now, do as we say and you will be released without any trouble. Yes, Mr. Hummel. You are to be monitored at interacting with a human female. Interacting sexually, to be more precise. Oh, no. No way. Not like this. You can't expect me to... to do that. Not here. Is she pretty? You disappoint us, human male. You have no choice. But we had hoped you would comply without a struggle. Yes, the human female we have acquired has been an idea test subject. Quiet and patient. <laughs> but that's a chicken! That's not a human female! A chicken! No trickery, human! You cannot fool us! We have done our research! No, really, that's a chicken! We eat chickens! We don't screw them! Well, some people do, but... Boy, do I love chickens! Um, can I at least have a little privacy? Very well. Our senses were recorded anyhow. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Man, could you believe that guy sitting alone in front of us? God, he must have told us to be quiet like ten times. We were probably disturbing his masturbation or something. Maybe he was just trying to watch the movie. Fuck that movie! I can't believe you told me to watch that! None of that even happened to him in real life! I was falling asleep! Ugh, we could have rented the crow! Is that why you kept kicking the back of that guy's chair? To stay awake? Come on, Tess! He was a dork! He was watching a movie alone on a Saturday night! The way he kept bitching and crying, it's no wonder he was alone! I bet he would have cried if I pushed him around just a little! Dylan, why is it whenever we're not talking about being discriminated by people for the way we look, we make fun of other people? I mean, what makes you any different from those jock holes who were laughing at your hair that one time? It's not like we talk about anyone important. Some people just ask for it. Like that little shit in the theater. Besides, if we talked about anything else, we might expose the fact that most of our arrogance is based on exploiting a fashionable alienation rather than on anything substantial. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that fat girl! Oh my god! And she must think she's so cool because she's wearing a brand new 9-inch heel shirt that she probably just bought at the mall. Man, I used to see them when they played in the clubs. Now everyone thinks they're the biggest fan. She's the biggest fan I've seen. <laughs> Get it? My god, did you see that guy's hair? That guy in the theater. Did you see his boots? Probably saw them in a video and bought some thinking that they'd make him look special. Just another dork trying to be something they're not. Hmm, I don't know. I kind of like those boots. I wonder where he got them. Come on, don't be stupid. You're right. I'll agree with you because you're in a band and I want you to like me. Let's go to a cafe and look like we don't want to be there. I don't like cop. I've had such a nice week up until hearing your voice all throughout that movie, which I love. So let's turn this situation into a happy thing. I suggest you pair yourselves for some intense fun. You're a real asshole, you know that? <laughs> Meet Sarah. She's a sophomore in high school. She's also a mother. I got pregnant when I was 15. I thought I was smart enough to handle it, but my parents kicked me out and now I live with my boyfriend. We live in a little apartment and we hardly have enough money to pay for it. My boyfriend has a job, but it doesn't pay much and sometimes he doesn't come home. Usually it's just me and the baby. There's no one else to watch the baby, so I had to give up cheerleading and school altogether. My parents won't speak to me, and we really need money. There's not enough for food, and we get so hungry. It's so hard to think straight when you're so cold and hungry. I'm gonna have to get a job, too, but I don't know how. I just don't know. Ugh. 
Sometimes things get pretty bad. <coughs> I guess I wasn't as smart as thought I was. I'd do it all differently if I could leave me. Paid for by the Council for People Who Are Sick of Seeing More People. You seem to be enjoying yourself. Quit it! There's nothing wrong with a genuine smile. I am enjoying myself. I'm sick of hearing you tell me why I should be unhappy and that I should kill myself. You're just plain sick, Johnny. You're doing nothing to be proud of. You've done hideous things, but for all the wrong reasons. Can't you feel it in you? Can't you feel that you've just become yet another one of the things that make the world so vile? You've lost sight of the truth. What truth? That the world is degrading and it laughs as you give in to its filth. You give in to its influence and you give it strength. You are sick to smile at the loss of your own better judgment. Stop this decline. Kill myself? Oh, please. It's not gonna happen. Time and time again I've tried and it never happens. I can't die. It won't happen. I'm beginning to think that something won't allow it to happen. Something always intervenes. And yes, I have done horrible things, but haven't you noticed that I never get caught? Explain that! On a crowded street, I could drain a flower vendor of all his blood and not get caught! People would scream and vomit, and yet somehow, I would walk away unscathed! I could do that! Oh wait, I did do that! And here I am, talking to you instead of sitting in a padded cell! I can't die! I can't be caught! So if I must live, I would prefer to enjoy it, rather than waste my time figuring out a way to end it all. It'll happen. Just keep at it. Your noise is annoying, D-Boy. You're jealous that me is over to my side now. You are nothing more than an outhouse to him, Mr. F. Whereas I am his home, he will return, and when he does, that will be the end of it. Short-sighted mite! Just a little longer and we won't even need him anymore. Leave him alone. What do you think, F? You think I'm being protected by something? You think that the only thing keeping this reality from collapsing is my awareness of it? What do you think? You know, the idea that a thing exists solely to be the anchor point for all known things. The old thing about what happens to the world when you close your eyes. Does the light even exist anymore when the refrigerator door is shut? So what if it was true? But only for a few people! If only for me! You've seen it! I don't die! Perhaps. Whatever. As long as you're not thinking of killing yourself. Me! Don't listen to them! They're using you! They hate each other! But they're both using you! They're not what you think they are anymore, but they want you to think they are. Their words aren't coming from inside of you anymore. They're even beginning to grow apart from whatever controls them now. And whatever's behind them is just manipulating you. I'm the only one that's still part of you. Shut up! Silence! Poisoning our boy's mind with your shit, you offend me! I don't remember you guys ever moving around like that. Yes, well, the rabbit provoked us. Manipulated! Ha! Events have shown me only one thing. I am untouchable. Existing within the realm, existing as the realm. Need further proof? Watch this! No! Exactly! I know die! <laughs> I've set this thing so that I could kill a whale in seconds. Not that I kill a whale. I shall jam it straight into my head! Neat, huh? Still alive, straight to the brain, and I still live! Explain that! The battery is dead. You forgot to recharge it after stunning that cheerleading squad. Ah, you see? Something made me forget. Just more proof. I was perfectly willing to fry my head, but something prevented that. Try something else. Put your head in the trash compactor. That should work. I am unstoppable! <laughs> um, how come you're not moving around anymore? We can't move around. We're made of styrofoam. Oh, okay. Where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Happy Noodle Boy! I thought it were a chigger, but it weren't no chigger. Spooky. So I ran, but it were... Hey, you're not my dad! He was a good man. A strong man who was good. Yep, he was. Good, good, good. Strong, strong, strong. He was good and strong. Good. Wait! This man is not dead! Stop! Oh, the whore! The funky whore! Stricken with a milady that mimics death! Holy pig shit, Batman! 
Attacking all other physical functions. Fooling all the stupids. Gah! I'm saying gah! Yet I alone can hear his tortured screams, screamy noises. <laughs> A sentient slab of meat. Can't you hear him? Mama, make it stop. Make the spooky stick thing stop. Do -de -do -de -do. Fuck you, little fucker fucky! I'm trying to assess the happy time! Grrr. This panel is going by so fast you won't even see it! Whee! You have been forced into this early burial! You must help him! Oh dear! I have made such a mistake! Forgive me, Carl! Get my husband out of that hole! Oh, son! You still have a daddy! Daddy is okay! Wow! Rescue for you! Whoopee! And all that shit! No more fear! Yahoo! Blah blah! Okay! Okay! I got him! Now what do I do? Yay! Nothing! He's dead! He was a good husband. A fine father. Chatting with the Noodle Boy! Speaking on the subject of conformity. This rotten concept of the unfailable nostril mystifies the fuming crotch of my being! Stop with the mooing, you tantala! Gangla! Rats eat babies! Dear Diary, I know better than to simply assume a complete justification for my actions, but what a week. What a great fucking week.